no brainer for a lot of people probably, but it's, it's just ticket based SLAs. That's a functionality with Inside and Zendesk that we, I guess, we're, we're kind of set up for certain ticket conditions and so forth. But coming into that, it was one of the things that I said to Jason, hey, I, I want this to be a thing. How do I do it? And he pointed me in the direction of some great resources to go, hey, here's what you guys, I think I'm going to put Jason's word in Jason's mouth, but he's like, yeah, they're interesting. You've got some SLAs. They're interesting. Uh, but he said, that was strange. So he was being very nice about it, but they weren't fit for purpose. So yeah, through his guidance and yeah, the, the stuff with Zendesk was getting those uh, SLAs in place for certain business departments. And as a result, a bit of a humble brag, but yeah, I think we reduced our ticket wait times by like 85%. It was, you know, nice. which is wild. But yeah, to, to your point, if a ticket breaches SLA by an hour and the team lead gets notified and if they breach by two hours then I get notified and it's a chance for us to go, hey, why is this ticket missed? What's going on? If we start seeing a flood of tickets being missed, you go, okay, there's something systematically wrong. We could jump on that and figure it out. So yeah, I mean, I was expecting pushback by the team, but it's been received really well. It's a view that they can operate out of within Zendesk. They can work by like oldest ticket first. So it's just hitting those ones that need the love quickest, right? And it just seems to work really well.